Today's video is going to teach you how to use Marcus Mariota in Madden NFL 16. Guys, my name is Cody Ballard. Welcome to today's video. And I like to break down, uh, you know, different teams, different plays, and different schemes uh, in Madden 16 to kind of give you a lot of options and how to be successful. Um, but today we're going to be taking a look at how to beat the zone defense in Man NFL 16 and the secret to beating the zone defense is to flood zones by using trips uh, and bunch formations uh, you know to really kind of spread the zone out and really isolate one section of the field uh, and overload it with receivers uh, flooding the zone and so we're going to use a trips formation to really break that down for you today um, like I said we are using the Philadelphia Eagles offensive playbook uh, for Marcus Mariota. I think it's the one that suits him the best. And we're going to be breaking down, uh, we're going to try to find a nice trips formation uh, in the playbook here today to really break it down and show you how to beat zone defense. Um, the formation I normally like to use, is, like I said, we broke down, uh, we like the bunch open uh, to beat the to beat the man, but what I like to do to beat zone is this trio offset weak formation. Um, and the play that I really like to utilize uh, to beat the zone um, is this play PA uh, Eagles slot. Our Eagles spot and uh, our stock audibles it's always good to note we have this in our stock quick audibles another thing we have is this nice inside zone and so if the defense has ever given you a nice look you can really nice you can you know you can really take advantage of them with this nice inside zone uh, it's one of my favorite plays on the game it's just a simple run but uh, you know really kind of keeps that defense honest and uh, something as simple as an inside zone can really make things difficult for the uh, defense. So first and foremost, what we note about this, we have a nice little bubble route here to Kindle right. And the cool part about it being a play action is if they send pressure, we can easily slip this out in, into the flats, um, you know, if the defense isn't staying honest. So I really like that about this play. Um, the other thing I like about this play is the nice uh, corner route we have to Kindle Hunter. Uh, you're going to see that and normally this is not actually going to be open. And the way that zone, most zones play this year, um, th this this corner route is kind of having a hard time at really being effective. And you also see some of the blocking uh, problems with this play. So what I like to do most of the time, actually, is take Sankey and put him on a streak. Um, and what this is going to serve to do is it's going to be a nice vertical stretch for the defense. Uh, and then the next thing I like to do is take Hunter, and I like to place him on either a drag pattern or a simple in pattern. Um, you know, and this is going to be nice against zone. And then uh, the last thing I like to do is, is Walker. You know, we can either put him on a streak, or uh, we could put him on a basic zig pattern uh, to nice to kind of spread that zone out. Um, or you could just leave him on the pattern he's already on. Um, all of those are options because he's going to, you know, he's kind of going to stretch this pa uh, stretch the zone. But the main read on this play. Is this in route to is, is this in route to Hunter uh, in combination with the spot route to uh, Douglas? And so what you're going to see here is uh, against the zone, um, this spot route is going to have a nice sit in a nice zone beating uh, area for us to be able to hit it, as you see here. And uh, we'll show you uh, a number of zones, but you know most zones are going to be from this cover three. But you see against the cover two, even this is a really nice option. Uh, and this, you know, this play really does a nice job. The cool part about it also is if they if they do happen to be blitzing you, uh, most zone blitzes don't cover the flats. And so if they send you know if they send pressure off of this um, left edge, we always have this quick little bubble uh, pattern to Kendall right as our first read. Um, but most most defenses will cover the flats. But even the cover three, and what's interesting to note about this is that even the cover three. Uh, our defense has, you know, good flat coverage. We can easily slip this out, and you know, if the if it's a one-on-one -on -one scenario, uh, you may be able to hit that. But again, um, one of the things that we really want to focus on is is the simplicity of this scheme and easily hitting this spot route against the zone. I really like this one. Uh, I, I think it's very effective. Um, another thing that you can do is just simply take the play verticals and take Kerry Douglas and put him on a drag pattern. Uh, and by doing this, what you're going to have is a nice stretch. Uh, and really opens opens up the underneath for Harry Douglas to really come underneath and play, but um, you know the primary play we like to use is this PA Eagle spot, and uh, what I really like to do is take Sankey here, put him on this streak pattern, and then take Hunter and either put him on a drag or an in. And what you'll see is this drag is going to come right in a nice area against the zone uh, for you to get a quick four yards. It's West Coast passing offensive philosophy at its best, um, but again I think it's really effective. Um, if you want a little bit more of a bigger gain. Uh, if you wait a little bit, you can hit Delaney Walker coming across the formation um, at the tight end spot. So a lot of options here, but uh, that's what we're really looking at. Um, you could play the run the play just as is, as we you know as we showed, and really use this bubble screen uh, as a nice way to beat the zone. Uh, but last and uh, last 
thing I would do want to show is again remember you always have this inside zone option and uh, you know I really think that this is uh, something we need to really be committed to uh, is using Mariota uh, in combination with Senki and, and really using this running uh, op option. You know, the inside zone is a very difficult run to stop this year, and if you're getting a consistent gain of three to four yards at a time, um, you know, it really helps your offense out. So, but uh, guys, that's how we like to beat the zone from the Philadelphia Eagles offensive playbook. Uh, and also, real quick, guys, if you enjoyed this breakdown or if you want to, if you would like to see more uh, in-depth breakdown on how to play offense in Madden 16, I have a full offensive ebook out uh, that you can purchase. It's not too expensive, and you can check that out in the description below. I have the product links all there for you, as well as some of the other things that I offer. But uh, that is what we've got from the Philadelphia Eagles playbook.